In this InDesign tutorial, I'm gonna show you a compositional arrangement tool. It's kind of an advanced feature, I think. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's called the Gap tool. So I don't have a page. I'm gonna to go to File, New Document. And right here, I wanna click Print. We'll just keep it on letter, eight and a half by 11. Got all my margins here. I'm gonna maybe size these down to 0.25, just a quarter of an inch, and I'll click Create. And now I wanna drop in a series of photos. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Command D. I'll go to Chapter 9, Folder 5, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos. So when I select all eight and I open them, I'm going to use the gridify effect. So I'm going to click and drag first. As I hold down the mouse, so I'm going to hit the up arrow. There's two rows. I'll hit the right arrow. And let's hit the up arrow again. There we go. There's eight picture frames. Okay, we'll go out to there. About right there. When I let go of the mouse, the frames don't really match the pictures. The frames almost look like squares, but the pictures are more verticals. Okay, so what I wanna do is set up these frames to match the photos. So I'm gonna go to Object Menu, Fitting, Fit Frame to Content. There we go. All right, so in order to use the Gap Tool, I wanna to check how these pictures are going to work here, so I'm gonna Keep them all selected. Go to Object, Fitting, Frame, Fitting, Options. I want to turn on Auto Fit. And I'll fill the frame proportionally. Okay. Turn on Auto Fit for this trick. Now what I want to do is show you what Auto Fit does. So with my black arrow, I've got all of this selected. Now when I just click and drag it will resize the photo. So if I press and hold, now you can see what it's doing to the photos. It's shrinking them down and fitting them proportionally to the actual frames. Okay, I like that. It gives me a little more flexibility as I go. What I want to do is just select this right side. I want to show a decent gap. So if they were too close like this, I want to select this entire right side and just pull that apart a little bit just so I have more of a gap to actually physically show you the gap tool. And what's nice about the gap tool is you don't have to select anything. So I'm going to click outside. I don't like looking at all these little links. So I'm going to hit W and let's just see how we can rearrange some of these images on the page. So right here is my gap tool. I'm going to click on it, and then when I come out on the screen, it will highlight the gap between all these photos. You're going to see this big gray bar. So now when I click and drag, I can push the gap over to here, or I can push it over to there. So I can concentrate on smaller photos on the left. They automatically resize because of the auto fit. I have larger images over here just based on that gap. I can also go in between them and push these down, maybe push this gap back up. So I've got a unique design, large images, then two rows of small images, then large images. Um, I can pull this back down, push this back up, move this gap over. And you see how fluid this is. It's kind of fun to play with. But here's the real fun part. Okay, I am just clicking and dragging my mouse. Now I'm gonna put it right between these two photos and hold my shift key. Now let's see, I can do just that row, move just that gap between these two. There we go. I can come down here, hold shift and rearrange that gap. Okay, now I'm getting a nice little interesting mix here. If I hold the command key and I click and drag, I can separate or shrink the gap. 
So I don't like how thick this is. I'm going to hold command and push or pull these together right there. Okay, I'm going to go here, command key, pull these together, and there's my smart guide. So now this is the same as this, which is the same as this. And I'm going to pull these a little closer right there. So now I've got the same vertical gap all the way down in this unique little grid layout. Notice I can go out to the side, hold command, and I can pull that gap over or push that gap in. Okay, but I like this arrangement right here. I really like that staggered look to these photos. What I'm also gonna show you is with the gap tool, I've showed you the shift key by using shift to move a single gap. I've shown you option or command key by separating the gap. And now what I can also show you is the option key. We'll do it right here. Option will physically move the gap and the two photos connected to that. So I can offset them over there a little bit. Hold my option key, push these two over, hold option and push those two over, hold option and push the, that section up. Or I can crash them in and kind of do an overlapping grid effect. But man, I have so many possibilities with this gap tool. If I hold option on the outer edge, I can push just that one. So now I can arrange it right there. I can hold option and pull that apart. Hold option and pull those down. Hold option and pull just these two or these four right here. So you can have them really tightly spaced right there. And let's pull these two let's see, over. Okay, you have so many abilities to experiment with this, but the way it's gonna work is by selecting all your artwork first, because you know you're gonna be shrinking and expanding your boxes. So you wanna select them and go to Object, Fitting, Frame, Fitting, Options. Make sure they're on Auto Fit. If I turn that off, and now I try my Gap tool right here, let's see what it does. Well, great, that's just gonna smash and crush the box. Okay, it didn't really do anything. If I hold Option, I can pull it apart. But if I pull, notice that. That doesn't work very well. I'll hold Shift and pull. No, Command and pull. Well, it's still carving away parts of the photo. I don't like that. So when I use the Gap tool, when I need it, Make sure auto fit has been set for these guys. Otherwise, you're just cropping in on images and that can really mess it up, okay? That's how you use the gap tool here in InDesign.